I am always amazed at how a non-believer struggles to see the intelligent design in everything created. For example, a building has to have a builder, and a painting has to have a painter, right? It doesn't just build or paint itself. Let's take the human eye. It's made up of 18 components that have to work together to function correctly. Is this intelligent design or happenstance? Who formed all the components of the eye as you grew in your mother's womb? You see in the Bible, in Romans chapter 1, verse 20, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have clearly been seen being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. See, the creation of the eye is just one example that there is a power greater than us that created it. And I haven't even touched on DNA. What I'm making is intelligent design has to have a creator. Man, as smart as he thinks he is in his wildest dreams, could never create anything as complex as the DNA in our bodies. For me, there's no doubt God is the creator of everything. But now you have to answer that question for yourself. You see, I won't sit here and tell you that you must believe what I'm telling you. This is a decision you have to make for yourself, whether God created everything or if some big bang did. My hope is that when you look with open eyes at the intelligent design of our own DNA, you can see that it is impossible for this to have come about by a big bang or by evolution. You see, at its very elemental level, DNA is very complex. Our DNA has 3.2 billion base pairs or sets of genetic letters to make up the human genome. A genome is the complete set of chromosomes that make up a cell or a living organism. And to make it even more complex, this 3.2 billion number is inside of each and every one of the 40 trillion cells in our bodies. If you took the DNA from each cell in your body, uncoiled it, and placed it end to end, it would be 67 billion miles long, or the equivalent of going around the moon 150,000 times. So can you explain how something so complex could have come about by a Big Bang or have evolved into something so complex? Even Bill Gates, the creator of Microsoft, said DNA is like a computer program, but far, far more advanced than any software ever made by man. Hmm, sounds to me like intelligent design. So if not created by man, then who? So if our DNA is a program, then there has to be a programmer, right? The only entity intelligent enough to create something like I just described is God and God alone. Also, did you know that our Earth spins at an angle of 23.5 degrees? If that axial tilt were to change just enough to have the Earth spin sideways on its axis, whole portions of our planet could be thrown into darkness or direct sunlight for months at a time. So the question is, who or what causes it to stay on its axis? Yet this is another example of intelligent design. God is the only one powerful and intelligent enough to not only create, but hold a planet on its axis. You see, the pride and arrogance of man is what causes him to believe there is no God, because he would then have to answer to God. You see, if there's no God, man can do whatever they want, because there's no sin. And if there's no sin, there's no life after. So why does it matter? And since it doesn't matter to these people, they just conclude there is no God. Even when there are so many things our human minds have zero answers for. Our bodies are too well designed to have not been made by an intelligent mind. Why does a dog have the ability to smell something at a level that's one to 10,000 times more than a human can? Can you tell me how our brain that contains billions of nerve cells arranged in such a pattern that it can coordinate thought, emotion, behavior, movement, and sensation? You see, our brain is a complicated highway system of nerves connecting your brain to the rest of your body. So communication can occur in a split second. Our brain was not made. It formed perfectly while you were in your mother's womb. No doctor programmed it to do that. No factory worker assembled it work as well as it does. Yet you were born with one and it works perfectly. Come on, people. These examples are just a snapshot of the many arguments that can be made that a creator with a very intelligent mind created everything. For me, 
I already know there's a God and that he made you and me. But this is for those who aren't so sure. And I encourage you to dig deeper after taking this little bit of information in this video and truly thinking on it. It doesn't take a neuroscientist to see how these systems are so complex that man can barely explain what they are, let alone how they came to be. My desire for you is if you're not sure how all things came to be, is that you take this little bit of information contained in this video and you begin to examine whether or not you believe in a creator that created everything, or if it makes more sense that there was some explosion or big bang and everything came perfectly into beating. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But I wouldn't wait too long because none of us know how long we have here on this earth. But if you've never accepted Christ as your savior, if you wanna know how to have eternal life, click on this video right here.